this would be all open when it was first built. You know, that was, it was open to the elements as it were. So it would be absolutely freezing. What fires me up, I'm just fired by, by what he achieved. And I, I can't conceive how he managed to fit so much in to such a short life. George was a very dominant man and that the, the popular theory is of course that Robert was a young man and he, he wanted to fly his own kite. But it was very shortly after the, the formation of the company that Robert went away to South America. So the company sort of floundered in those three years that, that Robert was away. When Robert came back, his two priorities were, number one, get the business back on its feet. Number two, build a locomotive that was suitable for the first mainline railway in the world, the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. That wasn't a locomotion. What they'd built up to date were cumbersome colliery engines. Robert now had to find a way of building a reliable, fast, mainline locomotive. The Star Dressing Room. Well, the Star Dressing Room used to be the managing partner's office. So this, this, was, this was Robert Stevenson's office. Robert, his father, and also the treasurer of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, Henry Booth, systematically analysed everything they needed to do. One of the key things was Henry Booth's idea of using a tubular boiler. Very difficult to make, but the guys in this factory, or this area, uh, found out how to do that. The result, of course, was rockets.